welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy and development in Nigeria and around the world. The presidency led by President Bola Metinobo claimed that Peter will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election is the one behind the planned nationwide protest by some people who are, who are who are angry about the hardship in the country caused by poor management of the economy of Nigeria under President Bola Maitinebo. The poor management of the Nigerian economy that has been confirmed by the New York Times and the Financial Times of London. That's what those people are protesting for. Well, we all plan to protest, we are told. But this is a nationwide protest that some people were planning to execute. But President Bola Metinuba administration is claiming that it was P2B supporters that are behind it. Sheikh Abad Gumi, an Islamic cleric from Northern Nigeria, has called on Nigerians to come out and protest the hardship in the country. Is Sheikh Gumi a P2B supporter? Is she a Gumi a, a P2B supporter? And you have, you have this uh, prophet Al Guba from Plateau State of Al Guba Ministries. He has called out people that they should protest if government does not do anything about the hardship in the country. Is he sponsored by Peter Obi? Now, the presidency was speaking through the, uh, this presidential spokesperson, Bayo Nanoga, who is the special assistant to the president on information and strategy. Bayo Nanoga said that if there is if there is a breakdown of law and order in Nigeria, that P2B and his supporters should be held responsible. P2B has never uttered any word in support of protests of any kind. Peter B didn't call out people to protest when it would have benefited him. The 2023 election was alleged, allegedly rigged when the ANEC deliberately, according to according to Lai Mohammed, switched off the electronic transmission of the result. And Peter B did not call out people to protest. He didn't call out for mayhem. So what will it profit P2B to be now to call for protest against Bolambe? What will he get when Bolambe Kibu had already been sworn in? Will P2B to be have the opportunity to call out his supporters and shut down this country so that Bolambe Kibu will not be sworn in based on the allegations that was raised in that election? And they know it, that Peter B had the capacity to do that. He didn't. Don't forget that it was after the election that Lai Mohammed started traveling all over the foreign land, including the United States and UK. It was where he revealed that INEC deliberately switched off the transmission of the presidential election results. Because they know that Peter B had the capacity to, show, to, to call out his people, his supporters nationwide, but he didn't do that. So what will it profit Peter B to be the one behind sundown of Nigeria or to embark on violent protest? Uh, what will it profit Peter B now? Is it that if the people protest now, Tinubu will be removed and then P2B will be installed. Or what was the was the was was on what basis will Peter be now? If not that these people don't, don't listen well when they when they talk to Nigerians. In what way? What will it profit Peter be right now? 
Where will it profit P2B right now? Absolutely nothing. I've closed the limit for him to be behind it or to tell his supporters to go and protest. He didn't call them out when it matters most so that to stop the swearing in. He didn't do that. He allowed the process. He went to court and everything. But by Aroga, speaking for President Tinubu, is saying that P2B is behind it, that they are sole losers of the 2023 presidential election. That they were sole losers. That's, they want to cosme him. He said that he uh, uh, didn't lead P2B to IPOP. That the IPOP supporters who hijacked the NSAS, they are trying to do the same thing again. I don't know how IPOP supporters hijack NSAS protests in Lagos. Because even, even uh, independent report on the on the killings at the Lady Toll Gate was instigated by the then government in power. Infiltrating peaceful protesters. He said it was the IPOP supporter that caused crisis. But meanwhile, we know, but even by the official report, and that was the reason why a court recently awarded 20 million to each of those who participated in that uh, lucky protest. But now I want us to believe that speed will be the sponsor. In. And his supporters, they are sponsoring protests. Protests for what purpose would they do that? Are P2B, is to be is to be the cause of high cost of living in Nigeria? Is P2B to be the reason why fuel is higher than ever before? Is P2B to be why the inflation is the higher than ever before? Is P2B to be the reason why the New York Times wrote that Nigeria is facing an economic crisis of greater of of generational proportion under President Bola Metinubu? Is P2B that told the New York Times to write that it was Tinubu's flotation of the Naira and removal of the stress subsidy that put the economy the way it is today? Is it P2B that told the Financial Times to write the same thing? Is it P2B that is telling Nigerians the cost of a bag of rice today relative to what the money in their pocket where they can afford it? Is it P2B that do all, did all these things? Is P2B suffering like the rest of the Nigerians? P2B as a billionaire is, is not impacted by what is happening. But as a contrarian leader, he has always spoken out against the, 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 the economic uh, mismanagement going on under the present administration. Is it P2B that told them to prioritize by private jets ahead of providing food for the public that are hungry? Is it P2B that told Ali Dumen to tell the world that he reminded the Tinubu administration that people are hungry? They say that it was the opposition that are, that are instigating it and nobody's hungry. Is Ali Dumen also working for P2B? Now, I found it strange that Bayo Nanuga and President Bola Tinubu himself, who are members of Nadeko, and members of the opposition for several years has now turned full cycle to run a government that what to equate itself with the Abacha administration where people cannot protest innocent, yeah, peacefully if they want to and they look for escape goals. Bayon Anoga was claiming that it was high up people that are instigating the protest. The other protest that took place in Niger State before this one down when people said they are arranging, they want to protest this time again. The spontan spontaneous protest that took place in Niger, Kano, and elsewhere the other time. Are they high up sympathizers? Are they Peter with sympathizers? In any case, all this futile effort to link P2B with IPOP has failed woefully. I have done a video where, where IPOP leader Namde Khan said unprintable things about Peter Obi. So how can you say that P2B is IPOP sympathizer? Just for you to just for you to get sympathy, perhaps from some people. 
Go and listen to what Nabucodonosor has ever said about Peter Obi. How can you say that I pop that Peter Obi is a pop sympathizer? Peter Obi is a pan Nigerian candidate. The only reason they keep on mentioning Peter Obi, like somebody asks, why are they always bringing Peter Obi into every matter? It is because they knew that this is the man that was cheated in 2023. Because he was cheated in 2023, they assume that they have to destroy him before 2027 if they, have, if they have to stand any chance of winning any free and fair election. And I have said it in this channel, the All Progressive Congress under the leadership of President Bola Metin cannot win free and fair election. It's impossible. Look at their record. Go and walk around the streets and check with anybody who will vote for them for the election of 2027 already. Even in the 2023 election, they did not. Nigeria has rejected President Bola Metin in the votes. If you are a doubt, let me tell you. Let us even assume that the result of INEC is anything to go by. Tinubu was declared president with 8.7 million votes by INEC. Atiku Abaka got, according to INEC, 6.9 million votes. P2B of Atiku Abaka of PDP got 6.9 million votes. Came second in their uh, estimation. P2B got 6.1 million votes. Rabi Musapankwasu of ANPP got of uh, New Nigerian People's Party got 1.4 million votes. Now, if you calculate the votes of Atiku Abaka, Peter Obi, and Rabi Musapankwasu, it's almost 15 million votes. These are people that rejected Bola Metinubu out of total vote of those who cast, who voted that day. Only 8.7 million people. If you are to even believe that figure that I like bandied around, which many people have disputed, but that's not the subject of discussion here. But it is to reinforce the reason why they are always attacking P2B, mentioning him in anything, whether it concerns P2B or not, whether P2B has anything to do with it or not. Is P2B the cause of high rate of inflation in the country, for which people say they are protesting? Is it P2B that caused Naira to be 1,500 Naira to the dollar? Is it P2B that raised the high cost of fuel transport, fuel in the country? Is it P2B that is responsible for the high rate of killings that has taken place on that border meeting, getting up to 10,000 people killed since he became president? which is well documented. I've done a video on it. Is it P2B that is responsible for the hunger and starvation in the country for which people say they want to protest? So why do you say that it is P2B that is instigating them? Or that those who are doing it are obedient? I didn't know that. So they, all, they, they acknowledge that the obedience actually are everywhere in Nigeria. Then why are they saying that why should P2B say that he won the election? If P2B has such a large number of followers all over Nigeria, of course, which he did, why are they then doubting that the claim that he won the election? When you say that he won the election, they start crying. If you know that he has the capacity, his obedience has the capacity to mobilize all these Nigerians who allegedly say they want to protest. That's the question they should answer. Those of them who want to blame everything on Peter Obi simply because Peter Obi dusted them in the last election and embarrassed them in legal state where he won overwhelmingly. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. Please don't forget to like this video. But soon you like it, go go rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.